yeah that's fine so this is the there is a screen flow right so we already know about these these things the new thing is rollback records that is that can undo any change to database and the rest we already discussed uh, we have something like a action we'll discuss this later it will higher we don't need this at this point subflow is that if you from a flow you want to fire another flow you can do that using sub so we'll talk about screen first so here i will create contacts right? just like last day but manually this time right so first i this is a screen i will say contact or i will say new contact details okay so a new contact details is there this is the screen which is blank it has three buttons previous finish and pause there is a name field already so you can go ahead and push it here okay and i will put a tick i will put a display text why display text we'll discuss this later display text is basically something when you want to just show but you don't need to take any user input then you use a display text so name field always have everything should have an api so i will say new contact and display text will have account uh, so this is all what we have and we can say this is done so one screen flow and then what will happen i will take the i will create a record using this first name and last name yeah so i will say create contact i will create one record I can use all values from a record, which is then I have to create a record variable, right? We saw that last day. Or I can see separate resources and literal values. If I do this, the benefit is that I, I will now create a contact. And where will I get the values from? So what fields would be required for creating a contact? Once again, tell me, what is the mandatory field? For creating a contact. So last name. Last, so last name. Last name. Good. Last name. Where will I get this last name from? So this time I will see a screen component. And all the components of the screen will come here. So this new contact is that, and here we have the last name. So that screen from the screen, I am taking this value. Second is first name. First. This time, this time again I will go to the screen component. I will go to new contact and I will take the first name. first name i can take other fields also but there is no need what is the most important part which is left out account id right account id account id needs to be filled so where is the account id account. i don't see any any account id right, right now right uh, this uh, account details is there the display text but where is the display text going to populate uh, are you sure? Let's let's try this out. So now I will add this, save this, and say new contact screen. Okay. And I activate this. So I can run and debug also, right? From here. So if I run it here. You will see this is the first step. Uh, let me test it. X min. Let's go ahead and check. If I am going to contact now, I see X min was created, but there is no account name, right? Because ID was not passed. It's a blank, but X min got created. Good stuff. Is running there's a debug also wherein you can do step by step uh, debug so you know what is the step what happened one after another and this is very important when there is a problem with your flow in bigger debug so input variables there is no input variables uh, so if i run it now here why map yeah you see what else has happened here flow got started First element you see fields to display first name, last name. 
so what happened uh, account details run details now you are seeing what is happening account details is null first name y value got in in main last name got in and this was the record that got created so if i go back now i see why man right so transaction was committed right so debug flow also is working fine so this is active flow but where to use it how will i fire this how will user get this flow i am on a on a setup screen right i am just firing it from these two buttons but how to use it really therein we come to account screen so this is what is account screen right i want this to be embedded here this flow flow can be can be two types one it can be embedded on a screen the other thing is that it can be uh, it can be fired from a button yeah so first let's embed this flow in in this screen how can i do that you guys have already finished your trailheads tell me how do i change my record page? in the setup sir edit page sir so from uh, setup button edit object edit page edit page edit sorry page. sorry edit page absolutely you can fire it from here you can also go and do it from where what is the other way out how can i do this how can i uh, change or create a, a record a record page what is the other way out if i want to create a new one sir yeah go ahead sir lightning app lightning app sir i'm not able to miss uh correctly use the full terms lightning manager, app uh, manager object manager account lightning record pages uh -huh. is the same lightning record pages it's the same thing okay there is two ways of doing it either you yes, modify sir. the existing record page you see there are no record pages but when i go ahead and change this here not contact sorry stop so if i go and do a edit page here you will see a new record page will be created here because by default we are using the default page so it's easier to make it make changes here but obviously this will override that salesforce default value okay so what you can do is that i will now go and use use a flow on the left i will drag and drop here okay and which which flow should i use new contact screen this is my flow right yes sir that's it now i have to save it and activate it now there are this record flow can be given to everybody then you can set this at or default that means all apps everywhere all users will be using this same record uh, page okay for account uh, alternatives you will only use it in specific app like in sales app only you will give this option the other way is you can go and assign it to app and for specific record types for specific profiles that is also possible so i will set to as or and i will set to desktop and phone both versions and save it done i will go back to now let's see if i refresh this you will see a, there is a new account record page that got created right so you can go and create it from here also no problem same thing okay so now <coughs> I have now put a, put a uh, component here. So now let me test my page. Now you see, new contact screen has come here. This is the flow I created, right? So if I said Zman, that is also working. But I am not able to associate to my account, right? So here in this flow, what change I have to do? I have to now pass a parameter from my UI to this flow. 
otherwise i will not be able to because there is no record triggering happening right that you have to understand here there is a screen so from which screen i am am i firing this which record is actually firing it that value you have to pass so here what we will do we will create a variable that variable is called record id so we'll say variable it's called record id the type is a type is a text and this is most important available for input Whenever I check this, I can pass a value from outside. Okay, this is important because I want to pass this value to the flow. Save as. Before that, I have to use this. Here now, I will insert this resource. Which resource? Which I just created. This variable record ID. Done. Save as. it so now i have created a new version of the same flow right and there is two variable one is this this the variable i created record id what will happen now i if i go and go to this record page account i will now edit this If I click this again, you will see here now the record ID is getting will optionally enter values for these flow variables. Only variables that allow input access are supported. So it is the input is already there. Here I have just one option pass record ID into this variable. That's it. Okay. So record.id got passed into this variable. So let's see what is happening now. I will go back to my flow test. Now I will test C. ID is getting passed here. Which ID is this? This one, right? So account ID is getting filled up now. If I now ask Amen, unhandle port. What did I pass? Let me pass the record ID here. So A main sir activate not done. It, sir, you didn't activate your the. Oh, Create it. See, Amen is now coming here, and it is also getting associated. Right? No problem. So that's how we will pass the value from UI to a screen flow. Clear? If you are doing that on the record page. Now, there is also an option of firing the same flow from a button here. How do I create a button in account? Tell me. So button link and. Yeah. How do we create button? You have already finished this in your yes, so button links and option action. Button the link and action, sir. Correct. Tell me which one? Sir, new new button only. What's the difference between new action sir. and new button? Sir, if... New button, sir. New button. Okay. New button. 
What is the name of the button? Should I do new contact? Yes. The button can be of three types: detail link, detail page button, and list button. Right? Which 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 uh, we I have to use? It's a page so button, button, sir, button, sir, I think. Button, hmm? This button. OK. Then do I will what? How will I, how will I run the flow from here? Sir, from the uh, uh, flow, we should copy the URL hmm. value. From the so URL, will copy the URL. Where will I copy the URL? How will I copy the URL? Uh, in flow. How? Tell me the process. I'll go to the flow. Uh, there is an option in uh, hmm. flow URL. New contact skin. New Tell contact me. skin, sir. No, hmm. no sir. This is not. Uh, on the arrow, uh, you'd like the view uh, details and uh, drop down button, sir. Like drop down this. button, sir. Yeah. View so details and okay. yes, view details and parcel mm. versions. Then is the URL so, sir. URL sir uh, below the type sir. This, Low this one. Right? Yes sir. Yes sir. Yes, sir. Yes. It's easy for you to for you not use these things, and it is already very easy because if you are using new action then you can directly call a flow from it okay this is a new contact screen right so you say to contact so can be fired directly using an action now one thing to note is that action is only available in lightning that is you have to go to accounts and if you go to page layout, you go to quick actions, new, new, what did I name? New contact or new account? Act. Sorry, I think I missed the name. No, new contact is fine. So mobile and like action, right? Yes. Here you will get the new contact. Type it here. New contact here. This one. There are two new contacts already there. So in order to distinguish, let's rename this a little more. Let's make it new contact. That's why you can identify. Let's go back. And if I go to lightning, so new contact. You see new contact. You see your button, right? Now here, lightning mobile and lightning action is saying actions in this section are predefined by Salesforce. You can override predefined actions to set the customized thing, right? If you override here, if you do not override, it will use this section. OK? And this is basically derived from the standard buttons. So if you see, these buttons are actually showing up. So if you override this section, you will see now you have a combination of this and this put together here. <coughs> On this, you can drag your and save. Once you have started using this override, you, the previous will not be workable now. OK? That will not work. So now if I go back to my account, let's 
sorry i have the new contact button here no this is not a new contact i have the new contact flow button here now which will open my flow one thing to mention here is that you see this is already populating record id correct why it is populating because the variable you have named is called record id if you have a variable called record id then in a action flow it will automatically populate the record value you don't have to assign just like you did in the this variable clear so it is very critical that you name it record id then only it will pass the value into the and this is the best practice clear so try to do this uh, record triggered flow and uh, and and basically it will be uh, easy for you to uh, to uh, work on the screen flow so any questions on the screen flow till now so we can fire a screen flow from both sides one thing which is a new feature of salesforce that needs to be discussed because it will come up in your discussions just like we said that we have introduced a new thing called in account or any page layout there is a hierarchy in which uh, it keeps action so if there is a this is not activated then you cannot create these actions right you cannot use these actions if you are creating any custom actions then you have to activate this once this is activated this will control your buttons on the page if this is not activated or overwritten then it is a combination of these standard buttons and this button clear yeah. any questions okay so let's see some quick actions if you see some quick actions you want to use these quick actions you have to now put it on here also right because this is taking care of quick actions this one and this one is used for classic okay this one is basically now used for classic so don't have to worry about it lightning will only control or uh, will use this one another thing to remember is that this whole section can become overridden you can override this whole section you can ignore this section and this will not work if you go to the record page Click on this. And you see update to dynamic actions. If you upgrade this to dynamic actions, in this case, the whole buttons will come to the record page itself. So you can control this from the record page. Then the page layout buttons will not be functional. So if there is a, a error you are facing that you are not a, somebody like a customer comes to you and say that i am not able to put a button i have created a new button i have dragged it on the page layout but it's not showing up go and first check whether this page the current page which they are using has been upgraded to like dynamic actions or not if you upgrade this you can migrate an existing layout or you can start actions from the scratch i can we can usually it is migrated from existing layout right so if you see which actions do they want us to migrate you can migrate from which layout right one of the layout and now i have all the actions are migrated from the existing layout here now if i remove things like this Yeah, I'm removing everything right. I have only four buttons now, right? 
I can do it here. Then if I refresh my page, you see only those buttons are there. Rest is gone. So page layout buttons is completely overwritten. If you make a page dynamic actions, record page dynamic actions. So this will impact. Here the benefit is that in these buttons you can make it conditional. So let's add a filter on this button. I will say if the account is active, then only I will allow them to create the contact. Or I will give this button. Right? So what is the condition visibility? Record active equals yes. Then only this will show up. So this is now conditional. You have this and save. So let's test it. Uh, what is this? This this is active or not? Yes, it is active, right? So I have account. I have delete edit and new contact flow. Let's make this inactive. See that button is gone. Clear? I will make it back as active. This button is back. Clear? So you can play around, you can make it things conditional if you have a dynamic actions. This you can only enable. This is a new feature of Salesforce. And once you enable this on record page, your page layout actions and buttons will be non-functional. Yeah. So be very, very cautious about it. Okay. So what next? Yes, the third flow which we have today to discuss is the schedule flow. What is a schedule flow? Schedule flow is a flow which runs on its own at a specific time. You see, this is a schedule trigger. So launches at a specific time and frequency for each record in a batch. Okay. This is auto launch flow runs in the background. Please remember that. Again, you can do this using this, or you can set a free form. You see, all this, whatever is record triggered flow, whatever is given is given is, is complete, is available here. So, what you can schedule, you can say that from tomorrow, uh, uh, it will run at midnight. And it will run daily. So every day this flow will fire. Okay. And what which object on which object will this fire? It will fire on account object. Okay. Which records? It will work on multiple records. Okay. So many objects when you want to update or change multiple objects. So what I will say, I will say uh, when is active equals. or equals to no, right? These are the accounts I want to work on. Whatever account which is basically equal to no, I want to update these reports, right? Activate. Okay. Which field I will active is equal to What is the condition? ID, account ID equals to record ID. So this is firing one by one, right? So the account, I will just equate this that I want to update only that account which is this current account, right? Set value for the account account, and I am done. 
job? Are you getting the value? So this is how this works. So you will do that and at midnight auto activate. You can also check that I will only activate inactive accounts as contacts. Not the outcomes as contacts. Uh, outcome is that it has contacts. Uh, let's check. Default outcome is there is no contact, right? So it has contacts. So what is the outcome? I will use this later. First is we have to check how many contacts are there for this account, right? So what what we will do? We'll say. Uh, we have to wait and find out what is the resources. So let's have a new resource. Maybe we'll do this later. So what we will first do is that we'll get the record, how many contacts are there for this account, right? Get contacts. The record I use the condition account ID equal to this record, right, which is firing this flow. Please remember this there are many records which will be fired one after another, right, one at a time. So I can take all records. I will see only the first record is fine for me. Only the first record is, is, is enough for me to take a decision. So I will take a decision now. Contact. It has contact. In which resource will I contact from get contact is none false that means I have got it right so I add this and here I will say when it has contacts then I will go update it so same thing so what is doing at night it will first find what are the all contacts are there which is deactivated. Then for that each contact, uh, sorry, for that each account, it will search how many contacts are there. And if it is finds at least one contact, then it will activate it automatically. Right? This will run automatically at midnight on your own. This remember to activate it, otherwise it will not work. So try to do in this logic and wait at the midnight or set up five minutes from now, and you can check that. Uh, this timing you can set up whatever is works fine. So maybe 10 o'clock, 10 o'clock. I don't know what is the time period we have set it on. Do we have any record? So maybe make, let's make it no. Uh, really, we can see this is firing now or not. But here we need to understand that it is on the server time. So I don't know what is the user app. So if you go and check the time zone. This is in Los Angeles time zone, so it will not run right right now. Let's make it. You can change this time zone. 
GMT plus 530. Asia Kolkata. You can make this English India. So that will not fire because it was originally set up in if so if you go and check the flow timing again what is the name of the flow did we get? auto Forgot the name. Auto launch flow. Auto launch flows. Let's see the auto launch flows. Auto activate accounts, right? As you see, this is the auto launch flow. So that means it automatically is launched. Both the record triggered flow and scheduled flow are auto launch flow. So that means you are not firing that from anything. So if you see now, so you see this is the now it is set up as 25 September 10 a.m. I don't know if this is working now. Let us see. So flow test. is still active. So when it is firing, this will become auto-activated. So let's run this. So let's see. This is run, right? So let's see what is, what is happening. So it has found this this flow, which is this one, right? It has got records. So account ID, store value, get contact records, account. check contact is null false, condition two, update record. Condition is equal to the record ID. So this is the record matching conditions. We are updating it to yes. And account record is so interview finished so let's see this no is now changed to false or not so now it is active too yes so this flow will fire automatically and will activate the non-active accounts which has contacts any questions so far tell me So it is time to get some more assignments and work on more assignments. So I will stop today's class and what I will do right now is I will forward you a assignment on your WhatsApp group. OK? Yes. I will stop this recording. Whoever completes that.